Ciao everyone, I hope you're doing well today. I'd like to start our class with a short Dharma talk. In the late 70s, John Lennon and Yoko Ono sent a little acorn to politicians and important figures of those years. The acorn is a small fruit of the oak tree and it has the potential to eventually grow in a strong, beautiful oak tree and then eventually in a forest of oak trees. The acorn is a symbol of peace and John Lennon, I quote his words from an interview, he said, we got reaction to sending acorns. Different heads of state actually planted their acorns. Lots of them wrote to us answering about the acorns. We sent acorns to practically everybody in the world. So they use this little symbol in their peace activism or anti-war movement to challenge the status quo the government of those years. Peace is a freedom from war or the state of the war when a war just ended. If you look at the human history, you will see a constellation of wars since the beginning of time. We make war to who we think that they are weaker, voiceless, we do it every day with animals, uh, slaughtering animals, animal factoring and so forth. In the yoga tradition, war is coming from avidya, a Sanskrit na name or word for ignorance. A misinterpretation or ignoring that we are interconnected and therefore when we do harm to someone else, we are ultimately harming ourselves. You might find some example in your personal life of this karmic reaction. Sometimes when we harm or we intend to harm someone, maybe even with thoughts or words, not necessarily with actions, the karmic reaction is straightforward. So it comes back to us as a boomerang right away something bad that happened to us right away after we harmed someone else. Some other times it takes a bit of uh, time, maybe months or years, and sometimes we are not directly impacted by this uh, boomerang coming back to us, but the future generations that are for our children and uh, nephews or grandchildren and so forth will be impacted by our warful actions. Let's think about the climate change, for instance. Thankfully, if we look at the human history, there are also periods of peace. <laughs> because thankfully, in ourselves, we also have another innate quality. So together with avidya or ignorance, we also have a quality of compassion of empathy, the quality that makes us looking for peace, for harmony, prosperity. If you are a religious pe person, most probably you attribute this quality to be, as humans, to the image of God. So we are good and we have these qualities of compassion and empathy and so forth because we are made of image of God. If you are atheist, like me, there is another good explanation. We do have this innate quality because it was really important for us to survive, to allow our species, the human species, to continue in story, in history. And maybe you find another reason why we share this innate quality of being compassionate, feeling empathy, looking for peace, well-being, happiness, freedom. And sometimes it's easy to feel sad or powerless because you think, yes, 
I am empathic. I would like to contribute more with compassion. I would like to bring peace instead of injustice, violence, war, harm. But I'm only human, I'm only me, I'm an individual. And so in those periods of time, it's good to remember, for instance, John Lennon and uh, that peace uh, movement, or maybe in uh, recent days, uh, Greta Thunberg in, uh, for the climate change movement, and so many other individuals who started a revolution. They inspire so many people, they inspire even generations. And so from one person, we had a sort of a cascade, a waterfall of actions. And therefore, it's not only one person anymore, it's a group, maybe a big community, maybe a worldwide community or movement that fight for justice, for ending the war, violence, who plant the seed of peace, of compassion, of empathy, and then they water this seed, inspiring so many other people. And so you can do the same, you can be the inspiration even for you know, the small community around you, or maybe you are inspired by someone else, and you start this cascade of good actions. Yoga is a good reminder to plant this seed of peace in ourselves, working and dealing with our own body and mind, also throughout the asana practice, so the physical activity of yoga. It's a good reminder to also water this seed daily with regularity so that it can prosper. And so this is the invitation for today's class and for your yoga practice to plant the seed of peace compassion and to remind yourself to water this seed. Please find a comfortable sitting position, maybe Sukhasana, crossing your legs or any other sitting position that works for you today. We're gonna chant together the peace mantra or Shanti mantra, the one that is also sang by Tina Turner and I will I put the lyrics and the Sanskrit words here on the screen so that you can follow along. This is an ancient mantra. It's coming from the Bradaryanka um, Upanishads. And it doesn't matter if you don't really know the mantra and you messed up a bit with the word because what is important is your intention to chant for peace. The literal translation of this uh, mantra means uh, to wish to everybody to be healthy, to have peace, to be complete or fulfilled, and to prosper. And so it doesn't matter if the words are not perfect, if the accent, the pronunciation is not perfect, mine is not for sure, but what is important is uh, our intention, our willingness to wish peace to everybody. So I'm gonna read the mantra first, so that you hear it the first time, and then um, we're gonna try with call and response. I know that this is not a class environment, uh, but it's still nice to learn a new mantra by call and response. Call and response means that I read the first verse and then you repeat it, then I chant the second and you chant it uh, afterwards, and then the third and then the fourth. And then we do it at the all mantra, the all four verses, continuing for other two times. Sarvesham Svasti Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham 
was dir Baba tu. Together. Sarve shams was dir Baba tu. Sarve sham shanti Baba tu. Sarve sham shanti Baba tu. Sarve sham purnam Baba tu. Sarve sham. Baba tu sarve sham shanti baba tu sarve sham purna baba tu sarve sham mangala baba tu sarve sham svastir baba tu sarve sham shanti Baba tu sarve sham purnam baba tu sarve sham mangala baba tu sarve sham svastir baba tu sarve sham shanti baba tu sarve sham purnam baba tu Sarve sham mangala baba tu. Take a moment to sit with dignity and respect toward yourself. Maybe closing the eyes or keeping a soft gaze on the floor in front of you. Take a moment to Connect with your own body, with your soma. Maybe noticing the contact between the feet and the ground beneath you, or the body weight pressing down. Acknowledge any physical sensations. Becoming aware of how you feel right now. Knowing that any sensation is valid. And so refrain from judging what you're finding. And instead, Feel the body and those physical sensations. Notice also feelings or emotions. 
if you can try to locate them in your body where do you feel those emotions in the body feeling rather than thinking Place one hand on the belly and the other on the heart center. And if you haven't already, become aware of your breath. Following this gentle movement, rising and falling. Perhaps uh, allowing a few of your own exhalations to come out through the mouth. Allowing your breath to be an anchor to the present moment. Then join your palms in Namaste in front of your heart center. And take your awareness toward the heart center, the physical and anatomical heart, and then the spiritual heart center. And in there, uh, let's plant the seed of peace today. And for our intention today, let's dedicate the benefit of the practice. Let's dedicate our efforts, our energy to the voiceless, to the refugees, the victims of war and to those who are trying to help the volunteers, the activists. Slowly check your forehead toward the fingertips and bow in front of yourself as a gesture of respect. Then slowly lift your head up and open your eyes if you haven't already. And then with a mindful transition, we start our asana practice now. If you know that you are using props such as blocks and similar, then grab those blocks. When you're ready, make contact with your mat through hands, knees and feet, finding a table position. Take a moment to tune in once again with your breath, perhaps using the ujjayi breath, breathing with sound. And then start extending the arms over the front of the mat and press back. So that you sit on the heels or toward the heels into Balasana Child Pose. Allow the knees to be slightly open to the sides of your mat. The forehead resting on the mat. Fingers wide. Stay a few more breaths here. Fully arriving on our yoga mat with the body and with the mind you can stay a bit longer in this position or for a more intense shoulder stretching take puppy pose by lifting your buttocks up more or less same level of your knees 
the knees partly to each other, and slide your hands uh, further forward and then press back. The forearms on the floor, the chest toward the floor, chin on the floor, looking toward your hands. Stay three more breaths. As you inhale, press on your palms. Exhale, come back to a table position. We start mobilizing our spine as you inhale for cow pose. Arch your spine, sending the heart forward, the chin up to the ceiling. As you exhale, opposite movement, rounding the spine, chin toward the chest. Again, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale to a neutral position, tuck the toes. Exhale, extend the legs, Adho Mukha, Janasana, downward facing dog. If you like here, you can bend one knee at a time, pedal in the feet and send in one heel at a time, a bit closer or touching your mat. You can mobilize your hips by gently twisting right and left. You can shake your head as you are saying yes, no, or maybe with your neck. And then eventually come into stillness in the downward facing dog. Gaze toward your legs. Bend the knees as you need so that you can extend your spine. With your next inhalation, uh, gently walk your feet toward the hands, a full stop 15-20 cm behind your hands. If you are not reaching the floor for Uttanasana, maybe consider using blocks or thick books under your hands. Swing a bit of body weight toward your hands, so that the buttocks are the same line of your knees and ankles. Gaze resting either in between your hands or toward your legs. Allow the whole uh, back of the body to release here. Two more breaths. Shift more body weight to your heels, slightly bend the knees. Inhale, roll all the way up and fold your spine. A nice circle with your arms uh, over the ceiling. As you exhale, come to Samasthiti, the hands and Namaste on the heart, your feet together. As you inhale, send your prayers all the way up, look up. And as you exhale, a side bend toward your left side. Stay here for a moment, look straight or up to the ceiling. Open with the chest up to the ceiling as well. As you inhale, next time, come back straight. As you exhale, side flexion on the other side. Make sure that you're not doing a back bend or a tilt in front of the pelvis. So take your tailbone down and forward. As you inhale, come back to the center. Exhale into Samasthiti. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms reach up, Urdhastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, prepare. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Svanasana, upper facing. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Stay here if you are tired today, consider Child Pose instead as we practice at the beginning of the practice. In Dan Dog, keep the gaze at over your knees or navel. Fingers spreading wide, middle finger facing the front of your mat. Slightly in, uh, rotate your uh, knees. Last breath. As you inhale, step or jump your feet toward the front of your mat. Exhale, fold to your legs. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, Samasitihi. Again, inhale, arms reach up, Urdhastasana. 
Exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, look straight. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Jvanasana, shoulders down, look up. Exhale, Adha Mukha Jvanasana, five breaths. One. Two. Three. Trying to steady your breath pace. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward, step or jump to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, Samasitihi. Hook your thumbs together as you inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fold and interlace your hands once again over your head. Inhale, release your hands down on the floor and step your right foot back, low lunge. Exhale, step the left foot back as well, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, press up Urdha Mukha Jvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Jvanasana. Inhale, step right foot forward, low lunge, look straight. Exhale, step the left foot forward as well and fold. Hook your thumbs, inhale, reach up and slightly back. Exhale, fold and interlace your hands once again over your head. Inhale, the hands on the floor. Step your right foot back, low lunge, look straight. Exhale, step back, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Jvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Jvanasana. Inhale, right foot forward, low lunge. Exhale, left foot forward as well and fold. Inhale, reach all the way up and back. Exhale, into Samasitihi. Bend your knees, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, prepare. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Jvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Jvanasana. Inhale, right foot forward. Warrior one, stay. Bend deeply your front knee, the back heel rooting down on your mat. Extend your back leg. Arms are up, hands are together, looking up if possible. Keep breathing here. If you can open a bit more your heart center, placing your awareness toward the heart. Remembering whom you are dedicating the practice today. As you inhale, extend your front leg and open your arms on a T-shape by rotating your chest to the left. And as you exhale, rotate your back foot as well, 90 degrees, so that is parallel to the back of your mat. For Trikonasana, inhale here, tilt your pelvis back and shift the right arm forward. Exhale, release your right hand down and the left arm to the ceiling. Looking up toward the ceiling or your left hand. Stay three more breaths here. Keep a steady breath pace. One more breath. Look down on the mat. Inhale with strong legs, come up. Exhale, bend your front knee, warrior two. Parjvokanasana, inhale your right hand either on your knee or outside your right foot. Left arm over the head, looking up to your fingertips. Say three more breaths. Keep a bit of body weight to the back leg as well. Inhale, your hands are down on the floor. As you exhale, take your left knee behind your right foot and sit down. If this is not available, you can extend your bottom leg, is the left one, to the front of your mat. Arda Matsandrasana, Lord of the Fishes. Right hand behind you, inhale, lengthen through the spine, left arm up. Exhale, twist to your right side. Keep the gaze toward the back shoulder. 
Try to keep your spine nice and tall instead of rounding. Careful if you have any scoliosis or if you suffer of hernias in the spine. Last breath. Slowly come back to the center. As you exhale, counter twist once to your left side. Inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale for Angistambasana, place your right foot on top of your left knee. If this is not available, so you want to have right foot on top of the left knee and the right knee on top of the left foot, you can also place the right foot just in front, so you come to a more cross leg position. We try to work on the outside of the glutes and hips. You can stay up straight if you feel it already. Otherwise, inhale, push with your hands on the floor, open with your chest, rolling your shoulder blades back, chin up. And as you exhale, move your hands to the front and fold. Maybe four arms touching the floor. Run your back if you need. If you have Angistambasana or fire log, try to keep your feet flexed. Keep your wrist, your gaze uh, to the floor. Option to go into side flexion by moving your hands uh, to your left side. If you're doing the side flexion, slowly move uh, back to the center and all the way on your right side. Slowly coming back to the center. Inhale, rise all the way up. As you exhale, cross your ankles, your knees toward your chest. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one on the left side. Five breaths here. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, look straight, extend your front leg. As you exhale, rotate the torso toward the right and open your arms. Check with the back foot. Inhale for three konasana, tilt your pelvis. Exhale, fold. One. Two, three, four, five. Look down, inhale, rise. Exhale, bend your front knee, warrior two. For Parashvokanasana, left hand outside the left foot or on top of your knee, right arm reaching for the front of your mat. Look up. Bit of body weight to the back leg as well. Three more breaths. Last one. Inhale your hands on the floor. Exhale your right knee behind your left foot. Come into sit. Ardha Matsyandrasana, we twist the left hand behind you. Inhale, torso, right arm straight. Exhale, twist to your left side. Two. Three, gaze to the back shoulder. Four. Five. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, counter twist once. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, prepare your legs for Farlog or Angistambasana. This time, left foot on top of the right knee. Your left knee on top of the right foot. Otherwise, foot in front. Inhale, hands behind you, arch with your spine, open the chest, chin up. Exhale, move your hands to the front. Fold. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Option for a twist this time. Slide your left hand and left arm to your right. 
Now place your hands together into Namaste, your hands on the middle of the chest. Maybe you can take your left elbow on top of your left foot and help you to twist a bit more. You can stay lower, it's a bit more challenging. Slowly as you exhale, come back to the center, slide your right arm to your left. You can stay here, twisting like this, or hands together in Namaste on your chest, or the elbow to the knee. Keep on twisting here. And slowly release, come back to the center. Inhale, arise. Exhale, cross your ankles, prepare. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Janasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Janasana. Look forward, inhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, Utkatasana, chair. Exhale, Sam City He. Separate your feet, hips and apart. For Padangustasana, with your peace fingers, catch your big toes. Bend the knees as you need, inhale, exhale, spine. Exhale, bend the elbows out and fold, gaze it over your shin bone. Body weight to your toes as well. Perhaps uh, here you can uh, try to extend a bit more your legs. Initiating the movement of folding forward from your hips. Keep the knees bent if you need. Two more breaths. Inhale, extend the arms and your spine. Exhale here. Slide your hands out, inhale, separate your feet, toes pointing out. Exhale, squat down, Malasana. Place your hands in Namaste, push in with your elbows out, lengthen through the spine, dristy the gaze to the floor in front of you. It's okay if the heels don't touch the floor, maybe you can place a couple of blocks under or maybe cushions or a bolster. If you need the support of your hands on the floor, please use your hands on the floor. And slowly release your buttocks on the floor and take your feet a bit further forward. Separate your feet hips and apart, your hands behind your fingertips facing your buttocks. Purvatanasana, inhale your hips moving up. Exhale, drop the head back. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chin to your chest. Exhale, buttocks on the floor. Navasana, both pose, knees to your chest. Hands either on the floor or palms facing the ceiling. If it's easy, extend your legs and gaze to your feet. One, two, three, four, five. Bend your knees, cross your ankles, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha, Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Inhale, jump or step forward. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, inhale, bend your knees, chair pose. Stay, maybe sitting a bit more, hands together if possible, looking up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Thunderbolt, start squatting lower. You can keep your hands together or palms facing down or hands on the floor. It's okay if the heels need to leave the floor. Your gaze on the floor. For crane pose, shift your body weight to your hands, heels up. Your knees under the armpits, shifting body weight forward. One or both feet leaving the floor. Slowly release, 
feet on the floor. Come to sit and extend your legs uh, to the front. Dandasana. Hands are next to the buttocks. Extend your legs and flex your feet and toes uh, facing up. Your spine nice and tall. Drop your chin to the chest. Look down on your legs. One. Two. Don't lean back if you can. Three. Four. Five. Paschimottanasana. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Grab the outside of the ankles, your big toes, or behind your feet. Gaze toward the feet. Allow your lungs to expand a bit more from the back of your ribcage. Last breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend your knees. Cross your ankles, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Jvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Jvanasana. Inhale, right leg, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your right knee, open your right hip. Stay or take one thing by releasing the right foot down on the floor. Hips are moving up, right arm over the head, look toward your right hand. Inhale, come back, three-legged dog, same leg, the right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot in between the hands and lower your left knee down on the floor. Parivrita Parajvokanasana, inhale, arms and torso up. Exhale, hands and namaste on the chest and twist toward your right side. Keep your hands in the middle of the chest. Stay or pick up your left knee, looking up if the balance is good. Keep on breathing here. Two more. Last one. Look down on the mat. Inhale your hands on the floor, shift your body weight to your right leg. As you exhale, move your right hand a bit further forward. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. As you exhale, open to the left side. Keep your left leg parallel to the floor, left arm to the ceiling. If you have a good balance, look up to your left hand. Inhale, both hands down on the floor. Pajrotanasana, pyramid pose. As you exhale, left foot on the floor, slightly open to your Either keep your hands on the floor or take a reverse namaste with your hands touching on the back, elbows out. Inhale, lengthen from the spine. Exhale, fold. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep your hands in reverse namaste if you have them. Or take your hands in namaste on in front of your chest. Inhale, shift the body weight to your right leg. Rise up, the left knee toward your chest. Exhale, extend the left leg as you can. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Bend your left knee, take your right hand to the left knee, twist as you exhale to your left side. If it's easy, catch your foot and extend the left leg to the front. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, fold to your left leg. Inhale, rise up and take your left ankle with your left hand. Exhale, for Lord of the Dancer, shift your body weight forward. Two more breaths. 
Inhale, rise. Exhale, Chadasana, mountain pose. Close your eyes here for a moment or keep a soft gaze on the floor. Take your awareness over the heart center once again. Maybe feeling your heart beating. Open your eyes if you haven't already. Take your feet together. Sama Sitihi. Chair pose, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, listen. As you exhale, easy step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your left knee and open with the left hip. Stay or take wild thing, left foot down on the floor, hips are moving up. Inhale, back to three-legged dog, same leg. Exhale, step left foot in between your hands and lower your right knee down on the floor. Parivrita Parashvokanasana. Inhale, torso, arms are reaching up. Exhale, hands in Namaste on the heart and twist to your left. You can stay here or tuck the toes and lift your right leg up. If you have a good balance, look up toward the left shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, hands on the floor. Exhale, body weight to your left leg for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Open to your right, right leg parallel to the floor, right arm to the ceiling. Maybe looking up if the balance is good. Two more breaths. Inhale, Parashvatanasana pyramid, the right foot down on the floor. Exhale here, prepare for your hands position, maybe reverse namaste. Inhale in lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. One. Two, three, four, five. Keep your hands in reverse namaste or regular namaste on the heart. Inhale, shift your body weight forward to the left leg, right knee to your chest. Exhale, extend the right leg to the front and stay. One, two, three, four, five, bend right knee, left hand on the right knee, exhale, twist to your right side. Option to catch your foot and extend your right leg. Two more breaths. Inhale, come back to the center for Lord of the Dancer, catch your right foot with your right hand, inhale here, exhale, Fall forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Tadasana. Shake your legs if you need. And then come to mountain pose. Maybe close your eyes once again. Where of your breath flowing in and out? Open your eyes. Come to Samasitihi. Utkatasana, inhale, chair pose, bend the knees. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, your knees, chest, forehead on the ground. Interlace your hands on the back, locus pose, Shalambasana, inhale, torso, head reaching up, rolling the shoulder blades together. Keep your feet on the floor or lift your feet up as well. Look into the front, keep on breathing here. Two more breaths. 
last one. Slowly release your forehead on the floor. Bend your knees and catch your ankles from the outside. For Danurasana, inhale, rise, head, chest, knees. Maybe looking up. Slowly release, forehead on the floor. Left arm open to the left. Shoulder stretching. Rolling top of the left shoulder. Come back to the center. On the other side, open the right arm to your right. Slowly release, come back to the center. For a moment, take a belly shavasana. Maybe crossing the arms, or resting your forehead on top of your hands. Feeling the contact between the front of the body and the ground beneath you. Extend your right arm to the front of the mat and roll on your shoulder to come to lie down on the back facing the ceiling. Bend your knees and take your feet closer to your buttocks. Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. Inhale, press with your hands and feet and rise up with your buttocks, lower back, middle back, upper back. Keep your knees parallel to each other. Stay here, maybe interlacing your fingers together and rolling the shoulder blades closer or take a full wheel, Urta Danurasana, hands next to your ears, bend the elbows, roll the top of the head on the floor and then reach up, pushing with your arms. One, two, extend your legs if you can, in a full wheel, four, five, inhale, chin to the chest, Exhale, come down, take your knees on your chest, hug your knees with your hands, make a few rolls with your hips in both directions. Allow your knees to fall on your left side. Twist to your right. Keep your knees up toward the chest area, you can also Interlace your right knee on top of the left, it becomes a bit uh, harder. Gaze away your right hand, right shoulder down on the floor. Inhale your knees back to the center. Exhale, drop your knees uh, to your right side. Inhale, come back to the center. As you exhale, place your hands under your knees, rock back and forward, coming up to sit. Come to face the side of your mat or the front of the mat if it's more convenient for you. For Baddha Konasana, your feet together, the knees opening to the side. Take your hands on the feet, keep your feet fairly close to your pubic bone. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, drop your chin to the chest. Keep your spine nice and tall, don't fall back. Try to push your knees down with your muscles, not with touching with your hands or pressing with your hands. Second variation, inhale, chin up. Exhale, fold forward, round your spine, and release the forehead toward your feet. Keep 
Keep your knees falling down on the floor. Inhale, rise. Exhale, separate your legs on a V shape, Upa Vista Konasana. Inhale, lengthen for the spine. Exhale, fold forward any amount, maybe four arms touching the floor. You can also hold on your big toes and taking the forehead toward the floor. See what it takes you today, respecting your body boundaries and how you feel right now. For side flexion, move your right hand toward your left foot. As you exhale, come back down on the floor, change the side. Exhale, release back to the center. Close your legs if you need to shake your legs. Then face the back of your mat for a shoulder standing sequence. Legs extended to the back, inhale, hands together. Exhale, fall on your back. Inhale, extend the legs toward the ceiling. Exhale, buttocks up. Come to Halasana for a moment, feet over the head, hands in position on your back. Inhale, the legs up to the ceiling. Stay here, five breaths. Shalamba Sarabangasana, shoulder standing. One. Two, look toward your legs. Three. Four. Five. Halasana, plow pose. Feet over the head, interlace your fingers or release your hands on the mat. One, two, three, four, five. Separate your hands, release slowly your buttocks on the floor. Extend the legs toward the back of your mat. Point or flex your feet. Fish pose, Matsyasana. Place your hands under the buttocks with your palms touching your buttocks. Inhale, pivot on your elbows, chest up, arch with your back. Exhale, release the top of the head on the floor. We are counter posing, shoulders standing here. Opening the throat area this time. Three lion breath here, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, tongue out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chin to your chest, slide the head down. Exhale, release. Ananda Balasana. Take your knees toward your chest. And separate slightly your knees, flex your feet, grab the outside of your legs or the outside of your feet. Keep the neck nice and long, flattening the whole back. You can stay still or gently rock side to side, massaging your back here. If you use the Ujjayi breath, start releasing that breathing technique. Keep the awareness on your breath. Come back to stillness. Hug your knees on your chest for a moment, maybe closing the eyes. Taking a moment to say thank you to your body.
then release your feet down on the floor. If you like, you can uh, lie down completely in uh, Shavasana or curl on your favorite side, rise up, come into a sitting position of your choice. Maybe sitting on a block or a pillow. If you notice that you are getting cold, please do use a blanket or a sweater on you. If it's okay for you, either in Shavasana or a sitting position, close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. Allow your awareness to travel toward the heart center. If you like to visualize, if you have a good imagination, perhaps visualize a flame burning and shining in the heart center, Anahata Chakra. Visualize a white halo full of energy originating in the flame and shining and flowing through the entire body from the heart center to the whole body. white as the color of peace. As the white energy arrives to the fingertips, the toes, the top of the head, so toward the borders of your body, visualize a blue halo, the healing color. Allow this energy originating in the heart center, flowing inside the body, to start leaking out from the body, spreading outwards. Reaching the people around you the neighborhood, as it continues to spread, to flow, with these qualities of peace and heal, reaching as far as you can go. With peace and healing.
you use the image of the flame and the healing uh, peaceful uh, light let go of this image now but allow the feeling of peace of compassion to remain if you're lying down in uh, shavasana please uh, Mindfully and slowly come up to sit. As you become aware of the space around you, knowing where you are in this specific moment. Join your palms and Namaste on the heart center. If you like, join me for one Om, three Shanti, which means a peace, one Hari Om. Inhale. Om. Shanti. Shanti. Shanti Hari Thank you for practicing together. Namaste. any feedback questions maybe some nice words that you want to share with the others in this community please do so in the comment section and i'll see you next time take care ciao My mind is spun, I had enough Feels like I'm burning down, the flames rise up And I can't tell what's coming next This life is like a game of roulette The one that I need, help me see beyond the surface my purpose You are my no star You are my always You are my compass Now I chance always Maybe you turn to Ashes, ashes When it all comes down when it all comes down A cold wind sets up on my back The sky is getting full and turning black I lost my way when I lost you I need a moment more, this can be true the one that I need, help me see beyond the surface My purpose, you are my nostalgia You are my 